Hey guys, we're out here in uh, beautiful sunshiny southern Oregon where it almost never rains. Just kidding. And uh, I brought you along today because I want to test out a new knife that I recently got here. And that is the SE Laser Strike. And this knife, I think it's going to be a pretty awesome knife. SE makes really good products. So let's start with the breakdown of this knife. So it's got a really awesome sheath here and it uh, clicks in pretty good and right here it's got this you can push this screw up to keep your blade in there so it doesn't accidentally fall out or get stuck on something come out and then you just push this down it comes right out then it's got this lanyard here and it's got a washer on it and we'll talk about what that washer does here in just a little bit let me show you another cool feature about this knife I'm pretty excited to try this out and um, not only does this knife come with a ferro rod magnesium and little tinder uh, plugs this side of the handles got this little dimple in there and if you're wondering what that's for that is so you can use it as a bearing block on a friction fire so I'm gonna also demonstrate I'm gonna demonstrate how to use this for a friction fire all right so this on this lanyard when you buy it has this washer and this washer is going to be used to unscrew these flathead screws so you just stick it in there and you just unscrew these screws and they come out both of them set them somewhere safe where you don't lose them take the other one out okay now this is where the magic happens right here so now we got both screws out this handle comes off and inside of it there's a cool little magnesium ferro rod right here okay and then we flip it over the other side has got a couple fire wicks in there a couple fire plugs so all right so now that you know what's in there we're gonna go ahead and test this knife out uh, in all all of the features that it comes with we're gonna test all the features of this knife and see what we think and we're really going to test it and see just how durable it is um, and that's important because you never know what situation you're going to find yourself in okay so let's go beat this knife up all right guys we're going to go ahead and put this sc to work All right, well, we did pretty good there. That's about a two inch uh, tree there. Uh, blade still looks good. Got rain on the camera, but the blade still looks fine there. So uh, I'm gonna make a baton out of this and then we're gonna beat the crap out of this knife. Okay, we got our baton. Let's beat, the, let's beat this knife up. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that same tree that I cut down, and instead of doing this, we're gonna use our knife and a baton to, uh, to cut this into smaller pieces. And this is a wet madrone tree, so that's gonna affect it a little bit. We'll get a piece of dry wood and try that also. A little spongy part there in the stump. All right, well, it cuts wet stuff pretty good. Let's try some dry stuff. All right, guys. Well, here we are. We got a dry piece of madrone here. 
And for those of you who know anything about Madrone, you'll know that this is a pretty hard wood. Uh, makes great firewood down here in Southern Oregon. But let's, uh, let's try to chop this with this knife. Oh yeah, no problem. That's pretty good. All right, let's inspect the blade, the damage. There's none there, as I expected. Let's get some pitch out of this stump. Let's see how it does for that. I'm gonna pry on it a little bit. Now, we got us some great, a great resource for uh, starting a fire after uh, we get it going. And you could use this to start the fire also. All right, well, so far so good. I mean, you know, I, haven't, I haven't been super crazy on it, but we're beating it up, that's for sure. Okay. Let's test this thing out, starting a fire. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these, one of these wicks out. Okay. Flip it over, put the knife handle there. We're gonna grab that. I'll put my knife handle right back over here so that no water droplets get in uh, on my other little tinder so what you want to do with this stuff you want to break it apart and you can just pull it apart like that it's nice it gets all fuzzy you don't have to use this whole thing that's a nice thing you can just use a little bit you don't need all of it so then I'll take what's left put that in my pocket okay there we go That all broken up like that. Okay, let's see if it works. So we got our little bit of cloth here. Our fire plug that came with this kit. I'm just ripping it apart to get it to where it'll really catch my ember when I throw it on there. Okay, now we're gonna shave some of this magnesium on there. And all I'm using here is a washer that came with the kit, with a knife. Okay, that should do it. Now let's try to strike into there with this. All right, there it goes. Now we can add some of our our pitch here. Hey, hey, look at that. And it's raining, it's wet outside. We're still able to get a fire going, still able to stay warm. I'm going to demonstrate how to use this for a friction fire. All right, we're going to try out our 
our SE bearing block from our, our knife handle and see if we can see how well it works and maybe we'll get a fire going, maybe we won't, but the uh, main goal of this is just to see if it works. All right, guys. Well, the, a the SE laser strike worked great. Um, there it is, my spindle. And check this out. We got a coal. That's awesome. That's, that's success right there. That's amazing. Who would have thought that would have worked? That's awesome. Hey guys, well, all in all, that was a success on the SE knife. Uh, really cool. The one thing that I will say is you probably will not end up getting very many uses out of this handle. I used it just the one time you saw there, and this right here, it's starting to burn through, and it's created a little bubble there, so I might, maybe I'll get a hold of SE and, and uh, maybe they'll figure out some kind of a solution for that um, all right let's put this thing back together and get out of here it's wet I would rate this knife a 10 out of 10 it's a great knife it's awesome um, I, I like SC products a lot and and for a knife that is not a hand forged knife this cut not a custom knife this is a awesome option um, so go check them out get yourself one I got mine at the uh, Army Surplus store in Medford, Oregon, uh, off of Highway 62. It's either Medford or White City. I'll confirm that. All right. Well, till next time, this is Bigfoot. Out. He's the star of this show, Bigfoot. Bigfoot. Bigfoot.